And thank you all so much for joining us tonight. Um, I, am, I have the pleasure to be joined by a huge uh, computer and information science team um, that we have at Niagara University. And I'm going to um, kick it off to Suzanne Wagner um, and let her kind of introduce um, everyone that's joining us tonight, talk a little bit about our computer and information sciences program at Niagara University. And thank you all for joining. Hi, welcome. I'm uh, chair of the Computer and Information Sciences Department. I've been at uh, Niagara University for 23 years now. Wow. Um, I am joined with uh, two faculty members, Dr. Taylon Sen and Dr. Young Hong Tong. And I have, um, I'm also have the pleasure of having two current CIS uh, majors uh, students here, Giovanni and Jacob. They are both part of the eSports club. They both play on the eSports team or compete, I should say. It's not really just playing. And uh, Jacob is also part of the cybersecurity club on campus as well. So I welcome you. I thought I would just give you a little bit of an overview of the uh, program at, at Niagara for CIS. Our name is a little different. We're not a traditional computer science program. We are uh, broad based in terms of giving you some exposure and some experience in terms of all different kinds of computer aspects for the field. So we have databases, we have programming, uh, hardware, networking, um, and then a lot of specialty courses in information security and digital forensics. We have mobile apps and mobile computing. Um, Dr. Sen is our new faculty member. Uh, doing artificial intelligence, computer vision. And so I know um, our presentation today is uh, um, to talk more about machine learning and then artificial intelligence and, and also some esports. And so um, I am not an expert gamer, I'm not a gamer actually at all. So my uh, friends, Giovanni and Jacob can laugh at me, that's fine. Cause they know they've seen, actually Giovanni suggested that I try playing a game in class and uh, everybody had to tell me where to click and what to do. So, um, but that's okay. Everybody has uh, some pros and cons in terms of their backgrounds and their experience. And, um, and one uh, great aspect of NU is uh, that you never have to be embarrassed. You can always just say something that you know and you know, feel free to acknowledge something that you don't know. Um, I don't know if you guys wanna um, ask some Feel free to ask questions anytime. I think we're all uh, pretty easy peasy about that. I'll let uh, Dr. Tong talk a little bit about some of the courses that, that he teaches. And then uh, Dr. Sen can mention a little bit about some of his classes as well. Dr. Tong, you wanna talk a little bit about some of the courses that, that you teach? You have so many, so you know, narrow down the list maybe a little bit. Okay, we, okay. Uh, good evening, welcome. I'm so glad to hear to to see all of you here. So uh, we actually we as uh, Dr. Uh, Wagner mentioned we we are not a traditional program, but we have traditional, but we are not. Uh, we started uh, teach so many new courses since I think 2010. Correct. We started from uh, information security. Later, on, we do mobile application development, and we also talk about the mobile game design. And we talk about smart things, smart thing, smart app development, I, uh, inform, inform, uh, Internet of Things. So now we are uh, working on data science and uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and uh, we are start uh, esports. Also start for uh, unique engineering. Now I, I think that's compared to traditional engineering course. We really unique. Uh, the department really think about the way we will try to create the new curriculum, new curriculum for engineering. Uh, it's based on computer and if, uh, uh, tech, uh, electric engineering, but uh, very unique uh, because we have software, we have the uh, very good device now like uh, Arduino, like especially Raspberry Pi. We want to create a very unique uh, uh, engineering part. We, in the future, we can do more actually like how to apply uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning in the Internet of Things for monitoring and uh, uh, a lot of things. And also robotics, that's, we can offer so many courses. So I'm teaching 
in this fall, we started teaching uh, machine learning. Uh, and uh, in the recent year, we also add uh, Python courses. So, you know, Python is a very popular course now. They can do a lot of things. Some we know is a very good market because several years ago, uh, some, some company come to campus really want, okay, we just need people who know Python. Doesn't matter what you major, just Python. And uh, of course, we all think about in our department also think about uh, to start the cloud computing. We, we really want to promise our students, each student have experience with cloud computing. When each student can have the experience, touch the uh, Linux system, can operate the Linux system, how to use uh, cloud computing, we can develop some application, not only use them, but also uh, application. Think about this. Um, we, we use smartphone as a, as a media to receive the information, show you, and you can send out the information to other, an, another place. We can make a beautiful internet thing. We can use visualization technology, show that in your phone, you can see a lot of things. It's not just how to use that, how to in, install that in your phone, but also we can design that, develop that. That's the most important thing. I, I think the department really want to offer our students opportunity for those different areas. You can pick one of them you really want to focus on. You can take more courses like that. If you want to do, for example, we, after our teaching the foundation courses, programming course and hardware course, uh, network, networking courses, you can pick different things. You can, if you want to look at unique, special, new, uh, computer-based IoT engineering, you can focus on that. We recently set up, uh, we will set up a lab. You can offer you 24 hours, seven days, if you like. You can stay there, practice that, okay? If you want to do data science, I think we, we offer that opportunity also, data ana analytics. If you want to do game part, of course, eSports, we will do that. Data analysis, we do that. Uh, like uh, Jacob actually working for a research project for eSports data analysis. He will present in, on Friday in undergraduate research conference. We really offer students a lot of opportunity. You can, if you want, we can offer a lot of opportunity to do that. So think about that. You can, you can play with, the, based on the technology advancement, you can think about this high-speed internet. In the future, we can design different system for the society. Yeah, it's unlimited. Yeah, we, every time when, when we have a conversation with Dr. Wagner, with Dr. Sen, we, we, we really think about the beautiful future. We have a great idea. We want to make something happen in Western New York, like a Silicon Valley in California, but uh, looks like a big dream, but we are doing that, correct? Under our great leader, Dr. Wagner, <laughs> we are working on that. We are hiring more new faculty, we're doing that. We, we promise, promise that. You can talk, ask Jacob how the faculty support students, correct? We, if you send email to us, we immediately send out a, a meeting with you, set up meeting with you, help you solve problems. Okay, I would say, I can talk many, many hours, a lot of things, <laughs> man, but uh, I would stop here. <laughs> Hope you have a question and answer that. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Tong. We appreciate it. So uh, Dr. Sen, do you want to talk a little bit about uh, some of the courses that you have uh, coming up and a uh, course that you're teaching right now for him? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, thanks thanks for everyone coming online and congratulations to you uh, for getting accepted. Uh, this is a big moment in your life, deciding where to spend uh, pretty much the next four years of your lives. Uh, so we want to answer all the questions that you have. I put my email on the chat, uh, tsen at niagara.edu. Uh, I know a lot of times these types of presentations, when I went to as a high school student, you forget what you wanted to ask halfway through or you come up with the questions later on. Uh, so please feel free to reach out to me or, or any of us really uh, with any questions you have later. Uh, one of the distinctions at Niagara that um, Professor Wagner alluded to that I wanna emphasize is that our program is unique in that it is not just focused on computer science, hardcore rigid curriculum where you have to take uh, the fixed classes. Uh, there's a lot more flexibility in our program. It's sort of a hybrid between computer science and information science. Uh, it's tied uh, 
to the business school as well. Um, so there's a lot of flexibility in, in deciding what type of classes you want to take. Um, I am teaching computer networks uh, this semester, uh, as well as introduction to artificial intelligence. And in our class, um, it was nice because we received funding from the university to buy, we have three robot arms. These guys can tell you a little bit about uh, the robot arm. One of them is behind me. Uh, the students had to program uh, the robot arms, simulate them in a physical simulation environment, uh, control it. And uh, we also covered topics of machine learning and computer vision. There's gonna be a whole class dedicated to computer vision next semester. Uh, and I'm also teaching a class in algorithms. Uh, so you guys, I'm sure, have heard about cryptocurrency uh, going crazy these days. Um, just down the street from Niagara University, they've opened up a crypto mining facility. Understanding the algorithms that allow something like cryptocurrency or totally virtual currency to work and to be trusted uh, is one of the topics that we'll cover uh, in the algorithms class. Uh, so I'm confident that you will... Um, if you decide to join Niagara University, uh, that will be an excellent experience for you. Um, we don't want to just sell you the school, though. So we want to let you know exactly what it's like. Three and a half thousand students here. Um, it's in upstate New York. Any questions come to mind, please reach out to us. Um, other things to mention. Uh, please feel free to type a question in the chat. Um, or uh, if you want to unmute and ask, we'll, we'll be happy to answer. But uh, thanks again for coming online. Thanks, Dr. Sun. Appreciate it. And uh, I'll uh, ask uh, Jacob to say a little something about your experience as a student. Now you're getting ready to graduate um, soon, right? Now it'll be a matter of days now. Um, so no pressure, Jacob. And uh, I believe you're uh, doing a little bit of traveling to go uh, start a new job soon. So that's also exciting, but uh, if you wanna um, maybe talk about a few highlights of being a CIS major at Niagara, that would be great. Or um, talk about eSports. I mean, that's that's all good stuff too. Thanks. Sure, yeah, sure. Um, first off, welcome everyone. Uh, thanks for hopping on this uh, Zoom call and finding out more about the program. Um, I am a senior um, in the computer information science program. I also have, I will be getting a degree in history as well. Um, and then I have a minor in data analysis and a uh, minor in uh, data uh, computer crime. Um, so, you know, three uh, related uh, computer fields of, of studies. And um, that, that's one of the great things about uh, Niagara University. It's uh, the ability to have that flexibility to study whatever you want, especially in uh, our CIS program. Um, when I was looking at schools four or five years ago, um, you know, some of the great like technology schools, uh, Stephen Institution, Institution of Technology in uh, Hoboken, New Jersey, uh, RIT uh, in Rochester, um, you know, these those programs locked you in to a major and you kind of pigeoned your whole uh, yourself um, into that specific area of study. But the great thing about Niagara is you can do um, whatever you want and you can get a taste through a bunch of different uh, courses. So you have the business options, the project management, the databases, um, you have the programming, web development, uh, Java, Python courses, mobile applications. Uh, you also have cybersecurity classes, um, which will funnel you into the CSO program, the computer uh, security uh, graduate studies, um, machine learning courses uh, with Dr. Sen, and then obviously some esports um, exposure as well with like game development courses. Um, so so all, all, all that flexibility allows you to build um, a career um, and fields of study that you're interested in. Um, and, and you're not gonna have it figured out uh, your freshman year. Um, and in fact, it, it might change uh, maybe even your senior year. Uh, I can say that it definitely did for me. Um, 
So, you know, um, it, it's a great opportunity and the faculty are amazing. Um, I don't think I would be able to do two degrees um, and two minors without the support of the CIS faculty and the faculty in the gen ed courses as well. Um, everyone at Niagara is, is amazing to work with um, and all very accommodating. Um, and, and then um, there, there's also great connections with internships. Um, and I think getting experience in the corporate world um, is very uh, vital to landing a successful career after college. So yeah, that's um, kind of been my experience. And um, you know, even with internships uh, through Niagara. Uh, last summer I had an internship um, and they sent me a job offer uh, for when I graduate uh, from Niagara. So uh, only amazing opportunities are uh, available here at Niagara. So I definitely highly recommend. Thanks, Jacob. I appreciate that. Uh, Giovanni, do you want, you, you're welcome to talk about some classes or experiences. If you want to talk a little bit about the clubs and teams, I know you're involved in uh, pretty much everything. So uh, whatever you would like to share with us would be terrific. Well, I uh, first I want to say, oh, yep. Well, uh, can you hear me? All right. Uh, yes. First, I want to thank you. Uh, thank, thank you for personally reaching out to me, for Dr. Wags, uh, or Dr. Wagner, sorry. Um, I uh, I have a lot to say about Eric, but and you. And um, starting with one of the one of the main things I first experienced was um, that the the entire campus was very small, um, which originally was a downside to me. But realizing that it gave the opportunity for the for the professors to actually connect with the students and actually help them out with topics that they had no idea what they were getting themselves into originally. Um, I myself. Um, it's a true story. I am taking one of my capstone classes a uh, a year early, um, not taking the class before. Um, but what my professor, actually Wag, or Wagner, she um, got me up to speed within probably a month or so, and I still haven't felt the way I felt originally when I started. Um, I was terrified, and um, I, I get very nervous, and I don't try. I try not to show it as much, but. Um, these professors will get you up to speed. They will get you comfortable. Uh, they're like your friends, essentially. I mean, if you heard, I apologize for calling you Wags just now, but um, Dr. Wagner is one of my favorite professors on campus um, and is also one of my advisors too, to help me out with anything I can ask for. Um, one of the things about Niagara is that I, uh, I there's nothing that ever ceases to bore me. I'm sorry, not bore me, uh, nothing really, there's, there's always a surprise. Every single semester, every year, there will be something that I wasn't expecting for the campus or for the entire university to even get. Um, originally, when I first came, I myself was part of an esports team back way back in the day in 2016. It was a pickup. It was a pickup team that I had that we ended up playing for quite a bit, but um, it had to break off high school, all that. Um, and then the first year I came to NU, I saw esports kept with it. And then the following year, uh, there was also uh, digital or sorry, forensics. Um, I never had any interest to get into cybersecurity. I never had any interest to deal that deeply into technology, but um, I was just trying to go with the bare bones of just the hardware. Um, but at Niagara University had every other opportunity that there is um, to deal with the ins and outs of technology. Um, and now including this semester too with um, Professor Sen's AI class. Uh, it's something that I did not think I was going to ever touch ever again since high school. But the fact that it came back this year and he's going to continue it too as well with, um, with also with um, computer vision too as well. I couldn't tell you, uh, even now I still hear him talk about machine learning and supervise and unsupervise. Uh, one has an input, one or one has an input, um, or sorry, an output, the other one doesn't have an output. Uh, and it's, uh, it's buried into my head, but there's always something to still learn here at this campus, and there's nothing that you will miss out. And if you do miss out, there's still the chance to at least come back and do it again, or there's something even better than what you missed out. Um, I will say the one thing I'm going to miss out is seeing, saying goodbye to, or saying hi to the professors every single morning. Um, they're, they're like your friends, essentially. If you really are 
tuned in and you really have enjoy if you really you know, allow yourself to be who you are here um it's like a, it's like home it's genuinely fun and I wasn't expecting that going into university but I thought it was just bare bones work and books but no I'm having a great time thank you for your kind words both of you know Giovanni and Jacob yeah um Giovanni calls me wags he's not the only one but that's all good um why don't we uh, give you guys a chance to ask any questions you might have um, or uh, either about the program or the school or for the students. Um, um, I actually have a question. Uh, where do you guys- oh, Okay, well, oh. I wasn't really talking to you, but sure. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I, it always I'm, came to my mind. I'm kidding, um, yeah. <laughs> where do you guys come up with the idea to open up a different, um, a different class. I mean, Sen came out of nowhere with AI. Where do you guys come up with that? Is it just something you feel passionate about to teach and then all of a sudden you guys just go right into it and get the funding and then go for it? Uh, I'll just talk a little bit about NU because the school is, um, is somewhat small and our department is somewhat small. That means that we have um, an opportunity to teach things that might not be in our area of expertise. But at the same time, because our program is so flexible and we have so many uh, ways to offer um, courses of interest, we can um, get either requests for topics and you can work in, in like on an independent study um, on an area that um, you might just be interested in or do a research project in an area that you're interested in. But I would say that for the most part, I know Dr. Tong has spent a lot of time talking with students and asking them about their interests. And then we also keep an eye on what's going on in the industry. So some of it comes from um, employers who are looking for certain skills. And then other parts are just, you know, kind of cool things that are emerging that we might find interesting. I mean, um, I brought, you know, we'll have, uh, um, a session or talk about drones or, you know, just kind of current events. And Dr. Sen mentioned uh, crypto, you know, um, and we don't have a whole program on that, but we definitely can incorporate current technology into classes based on student interest and other things in the field. So um, it's uh, just fun stuff. I think we're all just a bunch of computer geeks, really. And, and we all seem to get excited about a lot of the same things. And so we try to bring people together to, to uh, learn about things that we might have in common or have an interest in. So. I would like to add something. Uh, yeah, that's a very good question, I think. Uh, because the first thing, most important, we really care about our students. That's the reason we have small campus, like uh, uh, just mentioned, we, we know each other very well. You walk on campus, you can say, hello, Joanna, hello, Jacob, very, very easy. Of course, I may forgot Jacob's last name. I feel like speaking, I remember his first name, definitely. Uh, yeah, we know each other. We care about each one of our students. Our student. We really care about uh, what you really want to learn, what you want, want to do in the future. We really want to also try to help students pick uh, the best way uh, for their future. So we, that's the reason why we always try to add something new and always try to keep up with technology development, uh, advancement, something like that. If maybe in the near future, we, we do something new, correct? Two years later, maybe they have some new come, we will do that. Of course, some course we never, we, we didn't learn from when, when we as students. So we will, we will learn that part and we teach to our student. I, I tell you this, when, I when we teach mobile app development in, 2014 spring, at that time, we couldn't find a good textbook. I do have one, but uh, the code is not works, doesn't work. And uh, I would very confidently say Nag University is uh, among the very, a few universities who offer mobile app courses. I actually, I don't see other university, but I will say among the few college universities. And uh, Another year, 2017, I think, we start smart thing, smart app development. Teach students how to build a smart home system. Of course, everyone can buy the system from Amazon, whatever, install to your house and install app to your, to your phone. You can play with that.
but we are teaching our students how to do that. Frankly speaking, tell you when I prepared that course, we have no textbook, even with the wrong code. I need to do that. University support us, buy some smart devices, put in my office. If you go to campus, have time, please welcome to our campus to have a look. You will see a lot of things. You will stay there, play with that. That's your toy, correct? I always think, but that is a good, great thing. You can connect that, control that, make the world a better place, as other people always say. And uh, no textbook, we, we get that. I just explore everything, take, take in my office, stay there. Like Dr. Sen and me stay in my office now. We plug in the system to try based on, only based on documentation. So no textbook, no other things, we just do that. So, so I think that's this one, another way answer your question. That's really, really good. We are now we do eSports. Nobody of nobody us teaching, learn eSports before, correct? Nobody of us. That, that's all right, but we we creatively thinking with now we think about a special unique curriculum for IoT engineering. We really want to bring this unique thing to Niagara University, those this great liberal arts you know, college university. That's really unique. We believe we can create a unique curriculum. Yeah, we are working on that. We are working on that. Thank you. That's a great question, Giovanni. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, Christina Raymond uh, Gomez, uh, or is it Samuel? I'm sorry. I think it's Gomez. Uh, do you guys have any uh, questions? That's okay. Yeah. We, uh, I mean, we won't just continue on, but if, uh, if you have any questions, I know Dr. Sen put his uh, email in there. I, um, I guess we'll follow up with um, some contact information as well. Of course, we're all online, right? And you can find our uh, con uh, more about the department, uh, more about the curriculum on the website uh, as well. And uh, yeah, that's a really, we thank you for joining uh, joining us tonight. I know there's a lot going on. Uh, we wish you the best of luck as you uh, finish up your your uh, current school careers. And uh, you can tell that Dr. Tom loves what he does. I think we all do. I think he's really good at, at showing the excitement though, better than anybody. Um, and uh, yeah, well, we uh, hope you guys have a, a great evening and let us know if, yeah, if we can help you with anything. Okay. Can you make my finals easier? Uh, yeah, sure. Of course, just for you. <laughs> I do have one question, Giovanni and Jacob, where are you both from? Jacob, you want to start? Yeah, uh, so I'm from Syracuse, New York. Um, and then I eventually moved out uh, into the Niagara Falls area uh, after the pandemic, just. Sure, where did you go to high school? Uh, West Tennessee High School. West Jenny, love it. How about you, Giovanni? I've been all around. Um, I was originally, um, I moved in America back in five. Um, I was from Hempstead, uh, New York, and then I ended up coming to Buffalo around okay. 2010 and um, graduated from Leonardo da Vinci High School. And originally I was actually going to Alfred State um, for track and um, computer engineering, but their computer engineering field was bland, dull, and dry. Um, even our first year for our, for our, our um, computer engineering course that we had to take had more topics than that entire field. Um, it was literally talking about the same exact thing over and over again. Um, this is on record, Alfred State. And you all day. Um, yeah. Okay, thank you. It's nice. It's sometimes just nice uh, for students to know where you're from and, and just to kind of visualize themselves um, going far or, or not or whatever. Um, but I appreciate that. And I appreciate you guys all for doing this. Um, I know it's a, it's a really interesting time and, and uh, it's, it's, we're coming up on May 1 here. So this is a big time for students. So thank you all so much for joining us tonight.